I'm uh, nervous as fuck, to be honest. <laughs> now, there was no need for the swearing, was there? You did ask swear. There's children here. There's what's going on. How are you doing, kids? Yeah, so I think let's. So, what? Before we uh, unveil the bike, what's your aspirations for this year, my friend? I think uh, just take it steady, see where we go. I don't want to think about it too much. Uh, last year was honestly probably the hardest season I've ever had in my whole life. So uh, I just want to start fresh, new, new challenge, new campaign, and just see where we go. And hopefully it'll go the way we want it to go. So last season was the, the hardest season of your life. You want to be the guy who was actually paying for it. You know how difficult it was for us. For me, Carl and Lyndon, it was like a nightmare. But anyway, we stood back. Oh, dope. I was lucky I had a fast teammate. <laughs> yes, he was lucky. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, he was. So, but, but anyway, so the thing about our, the, the company, I mean, obviously we sell inspection pits for trucks. It's not something that we do. It's not associated with bikes at all, but I, um, unbelievable how many people watch bike racing. And there's a guy here tonight, and he, he came up to me, he said, oh, did you fit, fit a pit for wh whoever? I said, yes, we did. He said, I know you. And it's just, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's amazing how many people actually come to see it, and how the branding has actually really worked for us. So, but come on, let's have a look at it. Drum roll. So this is a joint venture between Evercup Racing and Cap Foss. It's a joint team. Uh, it's a Suzuki GSX-R 1000. It probably develops over 200 brake horsepower. Uh, and uh, there we are. So it looks, I think it looks gorgeous. I really do. So, round of applause, come on. So, so Brent is, 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 is uh, a lifelong friend of, of uh, Beyond and we basically, we agreed this quite a long while ago, very October, November time, we, we agreed that the other deal, uh, you know, and he's putting, you know, he's, he's, this guy has even sold his knife and forks on Facebook <laughs> to get here. To say, to say this lad is committed to the cause is an understatement, he really has, so. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. How's it going? <laughs> it's a man of few words, but you know. So apparently, this, this we've we've been to Cartagena to Spain. We've actually done a, a test in there, and Andy Jameson. No, I don't know where he is actually. Andy Jameson was quite surprised because on a stock 600, you generally need to be small and you need to be light. And uh, he's actually taller than me, and, but he's doing really well. And uh, was, it could be a bit of a dark horse this year, so hopefully you're going to do well, yeah? Yeah, you know, I'm hoping to have a good year. It's going to be difficult. I've never raced at any of the tracks here um, in the UK. So watching videos on YouTube as much as I can to try to see which direction they're going. Um, yeah, don't want to make, don't want to set any targets too big right now, but obviously uh, I'm not here to muck around, you know, to try to do as well as I possibly can. I don't, I, I just think he's, I mean, obviously, in, in South Africa, they drive on the wrong side of the road as well, the same as us, so he's, he's got one advantage towards him. But it's going to be difficult because it's so competitive and the time difference, you know, between, a, you know, first and tenth is like 0.34 seconds. And so he is going to have it hard. I think, I think, I'm making a prediction, I think you'll get on the podium at Silverstone, first round. I think, I, honestly, I, I really think he'll get his first podium. Well, it's only four straights and two corners, I mean, you know, how difficult can it be? Yeah, no, um, I don't know, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself right now, obviously. It'd be, it'd be great if I could do that, but yeah. I think, kind of keep the, keep the goals to myself, don't put too much pressure, external pressure on myself. Um, and yeah, go ahead and put our head down and see what we can do over the weekend. External pressure, not like your team owner saying that you're going to get to the podium. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, would you like to unveil, this is a brand new 2019 R6. Yeah, uh, uh, thank you for it. These bikes have been prepared by Steve Thompson. Steve Thompson of Auntie. And I tell you what, the kid has 
Done. And he's always busy. If anyone's ever, you know, got work done by Steve Thompson, he's always busy. And he's absolutely, him and Brent have actually pre prepared a gorgeous looking bike. Thank you for reminding me of that. So here we go. There's, there's Frank Sussex. <laughs> I like the Evercup Orange. It's good, isn't it? So, uh, they are different from last year, massively different, it's a totally new bike, totally new design, but it's still, we, we, you know, we've got to keep the brand there. So, okay, a anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to say? Uh, thank you, can I say thank you to the team, thank you to Everquip um, for giving me the opportunity this year to come and race in the UK. Uh, it's been a, a dream of mine for a long time to come and race overseas, so yeah, finally... Uh, that dream's happening, it's thanks to you, Astra. Thank you very much. Now, this is a huge thing. These guys have, have basically, uh, Brent and, and, and Amber, have basically sold lock, stock and barrel and they've come all the way across from South Africa. That's a massive thing for a young couple to do. And they've come across and they've basically, you know, they're going to do everything. So, come on, Amber, come and say hello. No, I, honestly, you've got to take it, you, you know, the thing in life, you've got to go for it, haven't you? And these two are the epitome of that. They've done everything to come across and to live their dream and to, to you know, to live it too. So I think a round of applause for these two. Well done.